Before we start anything on the podcast today, I would like us to say a word of prayer. Dear Father, we say thank you for the opportunity to be here and to be able to just learn from you again. If there is anything that we under our prayers, we ask that you please forgive us in Jesus' name. Lord, open our eyes to see you in the stories and in the lessons that we'll be learning today. Help us to see you in the scriptures. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I want to tell you the story of a friend. A few years ago, my friend woke up and found himself in a place where he knew no one. He was there all alone. He was trying to make a living. He was distant, very, very far away from home. And the story of how he got to his present position is another tale on its own. At that point, on that hot afternoon, my friend woke up and would have honestly wanted to just eat what he was feeding the animals. He worked in an animal farm and he had just finished feeding the animals. He would have really loved to eat what he was feeding the animals because he had nothing to eat and his wages were still a few days off. But even that, they would not allow him to eat it. Finally, he he thought to himself, Firstly, the thoughts that flowed across his mind were a lot. Among them, he, I think he asked himself at some point and he was like, why am I even here? That was not the question he meant to ask. He meant to ask the question, how did I get myself here? For you to really value that question, you need to know my friend's background. My friend was the second son of one of the wealthiest men alive. His father had a lot of things and was known virtually everywhere. In fact, it would be very difficult to say, oh, my friend was related to his father because it was just not a picture you could put side by side. The son of one of the wealthiest men in the world in a pig pen trying to feed animals and begging to eat from their food. So when my friend asks the question, how did I get here? It means, how exactly did I leave home? Leave mom, leave dad, leave everything behind and how did my path lead me here he was lost at that point in time he was weary he was tired he didn't know what to do anymore and before i go on to what exactly he did i would like you i would like to read you a portion from the scriptures I'm reading from the book of Matthew, chapter 11, from verse 27 to 30. In fact, I'm going to read from verse 28 to 30. And these were the words of Jesus. Jesus was saying, he said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. I want you to hold the story of my friend in one hand. I want to speak a little bit to you. Either maybe by your choice or by situation, you may be in a position where you are tired where you are weary, where you are burdened, where you feel like you are carrying more than you can handle, where you feel like the weight is going to break your back 
where you feel like you just can't take another step jesus is telling you like he told my friend he's telling you to come he says come unto me all of you who labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest only jesus can give you rest nothing else can no one else can at some point in my life i have wondered why i have struggled to find rest you know you are trying to maybe relax and you are watching a little bit of netflix or you switch on the tv or you are talking with a friend or you try to even sleep and guess what you do all those activities including sleep and you wake up more tired than you've been before you started that has happened to me quite a number of times and jesus is saying here come unto me are you tired are you weary do you need rest jesus says come jesus is calling unto you now back to the tale of my friend so that day he woke up and of course the owners of the pigs would allow him to eat from what the pigs had from so he thought to himself my dad has servants and even his servants are not treated this way let me tell you a bit about how my friend got to his present position one morning similar to the morning of this day he woke up and he told his dad dad i want you to cut like whatever you have that you want to will to me when you die just give it to me right now like just give everything that you want to give me just give me right now and you know not able to convince him not to do so is that actually cut his assets in half and then gave him his portion my friend traveled around the world partying wasting the money selling the assets doing everything that he could thinking the money would never end all of a sudden the recession eats his money handed and he was now feeding pigs so he was in a position well deserved he was lost and he was weary he was tired many of us find ourselves in positions like this where we waste all the resources that god gives us we waste all the assets that god gives us we waste all the talents that god gives us we undermine all the potentials that god gives us we find ourselves in similar positions but this is the clause my friend did not sit down in that position he would have died if he did he said to himself even the servants of my father have more than i am getting here so i'll go back to my father and i will just ask him to take me back i can work anything he wants me to work just he should just take me back as a servant as somebody that is hired as one of his employees or something i i just can't take it here anymore so he chose to go back and he went back home upon getting home guess what his father came to him and hugged him and his father made a party about it and really welcomed him back why am i telling you the story of the prodigal son i'm telling you this story because in that text that i read to you where jesus says come unto me all ye who are weary and are heavy laden and i will give you rest the first thing jesus says is come I don't know if you know how powerful that is. Come. Come unto him. Just come. If you do not come, he cannot help you. The first thing that the prodigal son got right was direction. He went to his father. That is that is the core 
when you find yourself in a position where you are weary you are tired for whatever reason your own causing or not the first thing is to go to god when you are lost you have nowhere else to go your ship your canoe is in the middle of the ocean all around what you see is darkness and the stars reflecting back at you from the water you see no shore the first thing you do is to pick up your compass and point it straight to god go to god that is the first thing direction go to god come to me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest the next thing he says is that you have to take up take my yoke upon you and learn of me for i am meek and lowly in heart and you shall find rest unto your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light i want you to remember that in the book of first peter chapter 5 verse 7 we are told to cast all of our cares upon him like cast all of your uh, cares upon jesus because he cares for us there is no way you can pick up his own yoke his own burden if you don't first cast your own down at his feet but the first thing you get direction and you start moving with speed to his feet when you get to his feet you don't hold on to your bodies you cast them all down and immediately you cast them down you pick his up you pick up his burdens so are you weary are you lost does it seem like life has thrown you all around and you don't know where exactly to place yourself or where exactly to go you may be in a situation where humanly speaking if you turn to the left you are doomed if you turn to the right you are dead if you turn up there's nothing coming but destruction and if you turn down it's like the the ground is opening up to 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 take you in what do you do point your compass to god find your way to him just get to him just get to god finally just like the situation of my friend there's always that fear because sometimes life comes to us in a way that we don't understand and you figure out that these are the times when like i mean the times when you are lost and weary most of the time it's not when you are on fire or praying hard or things like that or studying your bible consistently it's usually in the down times in the times where you can barely say a minute's prayer in the times when you can you don't even find any motivation to study the word so what do you do with that sometimes fear may set in would he receive me would he come to me would he accept me would he answer my prayers but we have a testament of god he said he will never leave you nor forsake you and another thing i want to tell you is that faith without works is dead also fear without work is dead let me explain the fact that you are afraid to go back to god in itself is dead if you don't allow it to stop you from going back to god but once you act on that fear by staying back then really your your fear would be alive because you have decided to let it live so i encourage you let your faith live and let your fear die go to god just run to him just run to him dear father with our last breath we will run to you 
It doesn't matter if everything is burning or drowning or sinking. We will run to you. Help us to always know that we have home in you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen.